<coughs> we have the second and the last racing stage in the story. <coughs> it's a little bit harder, but not by a lot. It's same same kind of deal here. Get 20 ranks, you get a boost. Uh, a button is both acceleration and a drift. If you tap it uh, twice, and yeah, I think these stages are pretty uh, uh, f fun enough. A fun enough distraction. Like they aren't too long, but they aren't too short. So the and they, they there's only two of them in the main story, so you won't be seeing this that much if you don't care about it. Yeah, there's a little less leeway in terms of the time here, but uh, still. Oops. Well, that sucks. Okay, one thing, uh, one thing you have to uh, keep in mind is that these stages don't have any checkpoints. So if you die, you have to start all over again. So yeah, don't fall off like that. But, um, oh, I was go I, I had some, I had uh, a thought in the cuts in the cut scene, and then I lost it. <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Bye, taxi. Crazy taxi is not gonna be. Is not her. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna. Okay, that was good. I never actually, I never actually did it like that before. Yeah, I just like the sense of speed you get in these stages. Like you go really fast here, so it keeps that Sonic feel, I guess, in that regard. All right. Also, I like the little like billboards and and like the signs and stuff in the levels are like Charon Space move the movie and stuff like that. Like it makes it feel like an actual world and it's kind of th those are nice little like feet like things the that just made the world feel more real, which is nice. Wait, did I say go be fast or something? That's kind of hilarious. Ow. Alright. Oh no, I remember what I was thinking of. Um, with the Eclipse Cannon, Assuming you can't move the arc anywhere, <laughs> the only target it has is Earth, or Mobius, or whatever the hell you want to call it at this point. Like, after you, you've destroyed, after you've destroyed planet Earth and the moon and all that, like, what else is there you can shoot at? Like, you just shoot the laser again and hope that it hits something? <laughs> like, that, you, but the, the arc has to have, like, has to be able to, like, you have to be able to move the uh, the cannon, but if you do that, you'd have to like completely s flip the thing around, and that would probably cause a lot of issues. Like, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm not. I didn't make the thing. But yeah. But regardless, we got the A rank, and I don't think we got it for Tails, so that's nice. And yeah, there's only 14 stages in um, Dark Story, so we're actually very close to the end, believe it or not. Four more. And this is also a really cool stage. This is the last awesome speed uh, speed stage, you, if you don't count the, f the uh, final story one. Because it's um, basically Pumpkin Hill in at day, uh, just different areas, and it's 
a really cool idea. Like, I like the idea of this game where the um, areas are like specific. Like, there's different regions, and you're going to like different parts of the regions with different characters, and then you see, and then you can go to like similar areas as that you saw with an, uh, another character. Like, we're going to see the church later on, and it just kind of makes the it makes the the world feel connected in a way that SA1 didn't, uh, did that in a way that SA1 didn't do. Like in that game, it was more connected in the sense that there's, there's a hub world that showed where levels were and all that. In this game, they make it feel like they're connected in the like the stage select and the fact that you, you go to areas that you see in other other characters' levels and stuff like that. So. And I honestly prefer the way this game does it, because it feels more like an actual world, I, su I suppose. Like, they both do it exceptionally well, but there's different, uh, like, different ways they do it, I suppose. I'm just gonna be safe about this and just let it write me down. Yeah, this stage has a lot of uh, alternate pathways that are very risky and like you can easily screw yourself over if you don't pay attention and these little things that bounce you up very nice so we go up here we get to the church you could barely see it but it was there That's a very dangerous goal be able to go, go for. So I don't know how you're supposed to get that on time. Biscuit. Yeah, our A rank streak has been ruined. Woo! But yeah, this is. I don't. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this at some point before, but again, this game has the, I think, the best interpretation of the of the rails because there's so much more involved in this game. Like just, just by running on a rail, not running, but just by grinding on a rail, it makes it feel interesting. Like you can, like, go faster by crouching, and it's just so exhilarating and. You know, there are, so, there are some really cool level design uh, ideas I used with it in this game. And, yeah, D, I, I didn't try hard enough. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything less. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm i not saying the, the way the rail, rails work in the new games is bad. Like, it's more stable, for sure. But it's not as exciting or interesting, in my opinion. Doctor. They're heading directly toward us. What should we do? <laughs> oh, 
You say what now? <laughs> yeah, now we get to fight this guy as Eggman. Alright, so this is a lot easier than Sonic's version because, well, the health bar helps, but you basically just shoot this, keep shooting it, shooting him until he opens up his, uh, these little things that basically power him, I guess, and when you shoot all those, he's done. Very easy, boss. But I, I will say, I do like how, even when you're playing a boss you've already faced before, it's different to, it, it's designed a little bit differently for the type of character you're using, so it doesn't feel completely redundant. Unfortunately, this time we won't get to hear the amazing voice acting and and editing. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Doctor. How's it going? What? What do you mean they escaped? That's okay. I will go after them myself. Can you tell me the password for the space colony control? <laughs> Tricky that old doctor is just too <laughs> Imagine if she, if she left that o the left that on. The password is Maria. Maria, hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh well. Now they changed a, 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 a thing there in that cutscene. In the original Dreamcast version, it actually said like Master Emerald like being detected or something on the screen. It didn't actually show Sonic, uh, Tails and Amy there. So I don't really know why they bothered to change that because it honestly makes more sense. Like why would, like Knuckles isn't there. So why would, I guess you can like assume like, oh, if they're there, Knuckles must be there too. And oh, if, the, if Knuckles is there, it must mean like the Master Emerald isn't there. So I'm gonna go, but it just, at the end of the day though, it just makes more sense for the Master Emerald thing to show up there. Like it, I don't know. It, it, that makes more sense to me, and I don't really get why they bothered to change that. Uh, yeah, okay. Yellow light circle. I should be talking about this. Yeah, uh. Oh. Cool. A container within a- oh, I think I know what- I think I know what this is talking about. Yeah, this, uh, gimmick- this stage is, um, arguably the biggest <coughs> stage, uh, biggest mech- uh, treasure hunting stage in the game. And it- it, um, it, ha it actually has two gimmicks. Um, the first is that, um, it's grav- it has a lot of gravity-based planets, and- Okay, it's not her, it's up a little bit then. Um, and it also has hints that either lie to you and mean the exact opposite of what they say, or, um, or it's talk, it, or it's, um, like, worded completely backwards, like, star by a bur burning watchman. Star by a burning watchman. I'm gonna take a wild guess and assume it's talking about the platforms right below. Like, I don't mind the stage that much now, uh, but 
like, I can beat this in like two, two to three minutes now, um, regularly. But I will say I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of these bottom platforms because they're completely disconnected, disconnected from anything else in the level, and it just takes too long to be able to like search around here because all, all the time in the, all the time you take matters in these stages. So it's just kind of uh, it's a little bit annoying to have to check around all these platforms just to see if an emerald's there. But other than that, I don't think the stage is as bad as people say. It's much better than Death Chamber, I'll be honest. That? And that was Perfect. actually really, really good run. Alright, what's next? Oh, right, this, I forgot about- Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Long time no see, treasure hunter. Did you find my emerald? That's a good one. Your emerald? Talking to you is a waste of time. It's really weird seeing Knuckles without his, without his gear. Alright. I have no choice but to- Alright, let's see if we can get him before he rises up. No! Oh, okay, dang it. It's possible, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. That was weird. It's not... It's... That's what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to go black. Where is he? I don't think he ever goes to the top. Oh crap. Dang it. Alright. Yeah, he's gonna keep spamming that until I find him. He's not here either. Oh no, no, he's up there. He's over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, biscuit. Hand over those master emeralds. Give them to me. Alright. What? He doesn't usually do it that early. I have no choice but to fight now. Yeah, you were you were fighting earlier. Alright, where is he? Whoa, 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 camera, okay. Hi. Whoa. Okay, one more hit. I can get him. Yeah! It feels good to kill him in the air. I'm not even going to question where that uh, bridge came from, or whatever you want to call it. Stop fooling around and give me back my emerald. What are you babbling about? Call yourself a hunter? Attacking a lady? Shame on you. What kind of lady goes around stealing gems anyway? Don't you lost to me. Yeah, seriously.
Rouge up to anyway? This is strange. It's showing energy readings from two separate Chaos Emeralds. Did they really think they could trick me with that fake emerald? Wait, Shadow. I'm the one who should be telling them the end is near, not you. Now is the time to end this long drawn out battle. What is the place in history as the ultimate genius? There's something else to do. I'm counting on you to finish the job. Alright, the moment for attack. Now this is the best mech stage in the game by far, cause like you have a cool little hover mechanic, like hovering makes you go really high, there's like some zero gravity kind of thing going on here, and it feels really good, like it really, like it benefits the, the mech more than it would benefit any other game kind of gameplay style, and the level design is just so fun to blaze through, like you just go across and just blast everything in sight and it feels really satisfying. Like this and Weapon Sped are like, just so, it just gives you a, such a big sense of power and it just, it just, it's just so great. I like, I understand if the mech's not for you but I... Oh man, like, I'll never be able to not enjoy these stages because I love the sense of power these like like these give these stages gives you and just racking up so many points in these stages is just a blast in my opinion. Like it's there's not too much to uh, lock in onto a bunch like you just have to hold B and like get a bunch of targets. Um, and like, in, like, the, that's, it's an easy concept to grasp, but it's about how you go about doing that and how you go about avoiding enemy fire to keep your score going. Because if you get hit, your, all your lock-ons are going to be, like, removed and you have to start over. And it can really mess up your groove, so you have to be really careful about what you're doing sometimes. And we get our last uh, power up for Eggman that we in in the story at least, and which gives us a little bit of a, a health boost, which is nice. All right, these these weird power plant things gives you a ton of points. Like, look at that going crazy up there. It's, it's just flower ridiculous how many points you can get in these stages. Nice. Yeah, like, even when there's, like, those barrier things that take a bunch of hits to blow up, they- you can just mash the B button with, and chew out your Vulcan cannon shots, and they go down, like, super fast. So, even when there's, like, a, a barrier blocking your path, it's still fast-paced and, like, like, say what you will about these stages, like, I don't really know why people don't like these stages other than the fact like, oh, no, you're shooting things bad. Shouldn't be in the Sonic game. And it's like, like, who cares? Like, well, people obviously care, but regardless, like, if it's fun and it's fast paced, why does it matter? Like, you're still, go you can still go through the level, uh, hold, like, chew a bunch of enemies, and it feels rewarding. Like, it feels really rewarding, and that's, like, Sonic game. that's what Sonic games are. Like, they're re rewarding when you get a good score going, or you 
you uh, blaze through levels and stuff. And that's still the case with the uh, mech stage. It's like, if you're really good, you can rack up such a big store by going through the level, uh, locking onto a bunch of enemies, and that in and that in and of itself gives you the satisfaction that a Sonic game should. Like you're going through the stages relatively quickly most of the time, minus a few like areas where you're using an ele elevator or uh, uh, have to wait for moving platforms when you don't have the uh, the jets yet and stuff like that. That and that kind of stuff, I guess, is understandable for uh, for some people to not like. But when it's something like this, it's everything I really want from a Sonic game. It flows well. It it feels really satisfying to blaze through, it's rewarding, and it's just fun. Like, you know, I, I, I don't know man, like, I just like these stages, I don't know what else to say, I don't know what else to tell you. Alright. Like, you don't always have to be blazing at the speed of sound. And even then, you're... Again, you're still going pretty fast in the max. It's def they're definitely slower than Gamma, I'll admit, but... I I think they're... Slowed down to, an ex to a, a degree that still makes it feel fast while not being, like, ridiculously slippery like Gamma was. Because if, if I'll be honest, I prefer... Uh, the mech's controls. Like, they're definitely not perfect. They could be ironed out if they were to ever go back to this gameplay style, which I highly doubt they will. But if they were, if they were to, they, they can iron out some, some issues with the controls. Like, make it a little bit less stiff and stuff like that. But, as it... As, like as it is, like as it is now, I don't really see much of a problem with the me how the mechs work in this game. Like, look how many points we have. Like, it's pretty insane. Alright, let's see if we got the good old A rank. Yeah! Now you know why I am the best. Almost got ten thousand. <laughs> 